I'm going to piss a lot of church people off with this. But Sorry, when you read the really. Bible, you know, I always got to turn something left. Right. <laughs> and people going to argue me down on this. So when you read the Bible and you talk about the tithe, the tenth, yeah, yeah. or whatever, a tithe is not made for a pastor. It's not made to take care of the, the church. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. People say, well, you got to take care of the church. No, the tithe is not for that. You can use the offering for that. Yeah. He plainly said, bring in all the tithe. And then he did say, and offering. So would it be enough for me and my people? Mm -hmm. Now, you got to look at when the tithe first started. Like you said, we only had oxen, bring in a tenth <laughs> of the oxen and all this, or whatever else. Well, yeah. They forget that we had seven years of famine during those years where no crops could grow. Yeah. You could Look, not eat. We are avid Bible readers, just so y'all know, because I know a lot of people be like, oh, y'all spiritually, y'all talking about astrology. Nah, fam. We we some country motherfuckers. We started in the church. Uh, and the thing is, you got to know the Bible before you can't talk yeah, about something you start you read it, and you don't even know it or, or, or or dismissing something because all people try to talk to me as if I don't know the Bible. See, yeah. and, and you skip, no, 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 I know, uh, or whatever. But the thing is, and that's why I know you can't pull no wool over my nah, hell and everything, you know, bullshit. So you got to look at there was seven years of famine where crops would not grow and the land would be cursed. So if you ain't got crops, what you eating on? All you got is that oxen that fowl and whatever else that you got mm -hmm. to breed that's got to go. So that's why you got to bring in enough. And I keep word into this deal, bring in all the tithes and offerings, not into the church, but what do you say? The store house, mm -hmm. keyword store house. So it will be enough for me and my people. Now, if I store something, I have a right to it back. If I take my car and store it at your house, mm -hmm. that don't mean I lose my car. Yeah. That means wherever I'm going through, I can do what they do. But when I come back two to three years later, I say, sure, I'm here and pick up my car. It's been at your house. I take my keys, crank it up, and I leave your house. It's not a loan where I pay you back. I'm like, well, I'm, I, or, you know, I might pay you to store it for me, but it's not where. I come back and it's like, well, I'll let you use the car, but it's really mine now. You yeah. Know? You got to rebuy this You sound car. like fucking Debo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to you gotta rebuy this car from me now, you know. You, it's been in my house so long. Now you got to rebuy my car. It's like both no. our bike. <laughs> yeah, it's both our eyes now. <laughs> what the fuck, man? Look, y'all. So, and so. He dropping gems right now. So. It was there. So basically, you wanted to, as you grow, you wanted to put a tenth of your oxen or something that's going to stay alive. You want to put that in the storehouse and everything because when the famine comes, you want to be able yeah. to go to the church. The priest got to eat. Excuse me. You got to eat. And so everybody need to be a feast and everybody need mm -hmm. to start eating because we can't do crops and everything. So, hey. No, no, I, 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 it's it's hard times right now. My cow, my oxen, and everything can't get. And, and if my, if I ain't got no crops, that means that my oxen that I had and can't eat. So, oh, I'm hungry. Me and my family hungry. Wait a minute now. I ain't been giving ten percent of my oxen to the church. Let's yeah. everybody go to the church and mass church, and let's all everybody get a feast and let's everybody eat till we get out of this bad time that we are in. What church, church you know got a damn farm though? Yeah. Oh. Now, uh, and that's why I was like, so it would be enough for me and my people. Now, the scripture that they don't talk about is every third year, you're supposed to turn that tide back out to everybody. So when it's, it's like, okay, you got too much tides now, and mm -hmm. you've been storing up, it's too yeah. much in the storehouse. So basically, Wait a minute, you got too much now, and we back in a good well, okay, crops growing now, and you still got all these ties sitting in there, and the crops is growing in this season. Okay, release all the ties out of the storehouse. Any stranger, hey, look, look, you need the ox here. Take your ox back. Here, take this back. You've been getting in now. 
Take it back. Now, the scripture that they like to read is, will a man rob God? Well, how have I robbed thee? In tithes and offering. Now, the famine has came and you ain't been giving your 10%. Everybody else been giving, they, tie, they, they 10 on them. Yeah. But you ain't been giving that. You stingy. I ain't giving nothing else. Now, right. now the famine has came. You can't grow crops. You can't eat. Now you hungry and you run up there to the church trying to eat off somebody else. You rob God and your people that have gave theirs into them. Yeah, That's but the grade, they're like, they're like, well, we don't have cattle. And so that was like money and how they did then or whatever. Okay, let's just say we're using dollars. I've given you 10% of my salary every month, week, or whatever else. I get laid off. I, no, you're not giving me no loan where the church going to loan you this money and you Man, pay it back. This no, 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 no. <laughs> I've already stored into this yeah. storehouse. Now, I get it. You might not. The church got to gotta survive. But whatever you can afford to give me to help to pay a light bill or to help me with a mortgage this month or whatever, I'm, I'm entitled to a portion of that. Mm -hmm. Not, no, that, that my, this money that I'm putting, now the offering and the building fund, that's something else. But these offerings, these are for the people. This is not for you to go build a new wing of the church. This is not for you to go get a jet to yeah. fly to another yeah. damn church. This yeah, is not for you to go jet. buy a Bentley and a Rolls Royce. This is not for the pastor's salary. That is strictly that's for the, the crazy people part. and the members of that church when they come up under a need. And two, if I'm in a church, you got to look at it. It turns to people like going, Jesus, if your church ain't growing <laughs> fruit and the people yeah. around you ain't bearing fruit, he cursed that tree. So if you got to look at the, the lowest number, it should be kind of like the, like, 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 if you're around us, if you're around me, you should be growing and bearing some fruit. And I'm, oh, I'm going to call you out, you know. Why are you not bearing fruit? What what is going around? We got we got good knowledge. We got good food. We got everything going here. Exactly. You start in the church, and you look at let's just say you got somebody walking there and they striving for better because one they should be striving for excellence. Right. If, if they Christ like, they should be striving for excellence. So you should be shifting, and, and you should see people come in and they came in here or it, it financially and spiritually. You know, hey, I came in and I started, you know, I was down on my luck and I was barely could fry a hamburger at McDonald's. Now, bam, I'm, <laughs> I'm a manager of this. I done moved on and I'm doing this. Now. There should be a shift. There should be a growth. And if yeah. it ain't, if you still the same 10 years from now, that you was when you started and ain't nothing improved in your life from that and you still hustling or whatever, there is something wrong. Yeah. Now you got to instantly switch that shit up. Like, if, like you said. You, now, it be, now it's not, may not always, may not always be on the pastor. It could be that, no, pastor giving you good knowledge and good food and, and, it, and, and advice, but you ain't listening. Mm -hmm. Got to switch it up. Because it's just, at that point, you basically just like insane. <laughs> he basically was insane, right? And a lot of people, a lot of people are insane. Yeah. They're praying for miracles. They ain't putting in no work. No That's work. Yeah. Sad. Yeah. Nah. You you definitely just don't give a fuck because it, it seems like the Bible is the topic right now. But yeah, faith faith without uh, works is dead. Either don't expect to just do something, do something without faith and don't expect faith to just cover the whole damn bill like it requires you to meet the universe halfway in some form or fashion y'all meeting each other halfway so you gotta put it in yeah don't don't lose yourself this this it's a game we all know it's a game we know this shit is a, is a fucking beefed up playstation 5 game like just play the shit Live your life, master yourself, you know, get some self-knowledge up.